Kumusta mga brad? Ang dahilan kung bakit natalo si Nonito Donaire Jr. sa Cuban boxer na si Guillermo Rigondo at ano ang dapat gawin ni Casimero para hindi matulad sa sinapit ni Donaire. Pag-usapan natin yan mga brad. Sa pagitan ng taong 2010 at 2012, ito ang mga panahong namamayagpag ang The Filipino Flash na si Nonito Donaire Jr. Nagtala si Donaire ng pitong magkakasunod na knockout at sa taong ding ito ay hinirang si Donaire bilang Fighter of the Year. Napakataas ng kumpiyansa ni Donaire ng mga panahong ito. Kaya naman kahit sino ang itapat sa kanya ay naniniwala si Donaire na knockout lang ang aabutin nito. Roy Rigondeaux does something you used to do quite frequently. He sets up as if to throw a jab and leads oh. with a hook instead. Hard right hand by Donaire on the face of Rigondeaux. Nakaharap ni Donaire ang Cuban boxer na si Guillermo Rigondeaux sa isang unification fight. Si Donaire ang may hawak noon ng WBO samantalang na kay Rigondeaux naman ang WBA Super Bantamweight title. Nangyari ang labang ito mga brad noong April 13, 2013. Sa labang ito mga brad ay natalo si Donaire via unanimous decision. Ang tatlong hurado mga brad ay umiscore ng 114-113, 115-112 at 116-111 na lahat ay pumabor sa Cuban boxer. Bakit ko ba pinakita ito mga brad? Kung mapapansin nyo ang score mga brad ay halos dikit naman. Kaya kung nagkaroon lamang ng magandang estratehiya si Donaire at hindi umasa sa kanyang one punch knockout ay baka nagbago ang resulta. Sa labang ito mga brad ay naging mas makamay ang Cuban boxer na si Guillermo Rigondo. Ang tanong mga brad, papaano mananalo si Casimero kay Rigondo? Gayong hindi rin naman ito makamay. Ang kapwa buksingero ay may taas na 5-4. Mas nakakalamang lang ang Cuban boxer pagdating sa haba ng kamay. Pero hindi naman ito problema kay Casimero mga brad. Dahil ang mga huling tinalo ni Casimero na sinasula ni Tete at Doc Maika ay di hamak na mas matangkad kay Rigondo. Ang Cuban boxer na si Rigondo ay 40 years old na. Marahil na andun pa rin ang galawan ay hindi na ito katulad ng dati. Samantalang si Casimero naman ay mas lumakas at bumilis nang umakyat ito sa bantamweight division. Katunayan mga brad na lahat ng naging laban ni Casimero sa bantamweight ay nagresulta ng knockout. Isa sa magiging susi sa panalo ni Casimero sa labang ito ay ang kanyang footwork. Kung matatandaan niyo mga brad na hindi naman lakas ng suntok ang tumalo kay Rigondo nang makalaban nito si Lomachenko. Dahil sa footwork ni Lomachenko kaya nagagawang makasabay nito sa galawan ni Rigondo. He's still being cautious, he's still saying safe place that he might be able to bully Rigo. Last hands there from... He decides to throw a combination, he lets it go. Energy away, you know, if Lomachenko's pulling and it takes energy, that was a warning in so much as it'll be a point next time. Oh, but lovely. With the Lomachenko with that big wide act defensive, you can worry about me. I think for the best part, since anyone's talking about, yeah, the whole thing. Ipapakita ko lang mga brad kung paano kinukuha ni Casimero ang distansya ng kalaban nang walang kahirap-hirap. Ang estilo na ito mga brad ay ginagawa rin ng mga mahuhusay na buksingero na katulad nila Manny Pacquiao at Floyd Mayweather Jr. Kung makikita nyo mga brad na malayo ang katawan ni Casimero sa kanyang kalaban pero mapapansin nyo ang kanyang paa ay unti-unting nakakapasok sa distansya ng kalaban. Kaya bago pa man makalayo ang kalaban ay nagagawa niya pa rin itong patamaan. Doubling up on the jab. Well, I guess he thinks, no, it's... It's your move to close the gap, not mine. I'm the taller fight with the longer reach. I, I want to keep it long. You gotta make. You gotta try and bring it to me. Bags of experience, though, Casimero. Got a record of five wins and two defeats in world title fights. Tete 5 and 1. It's won his last 
since September 2012. Oh, Casimero got him. He's got him with a butt now. He's given hits. He's got him with a body shot, was it? No, it was on the sure. chin. It was. It was a short right hook to the chin. And he's in trouble. He's all over the place. He's in real trouble. Tete's in a lot of trouble. And the referee wants to look at him. He's allowing it to continue. But can Casimero take him out here? It happened so quickly. And he's still got a long way to go in this round. There's one minute, 20 seconds. And... Tete still looks unsteady. He's got to buy some time here and make Casimero miss. Casimero needs to pick his punches and he can't find the clean shot and he falls down. Tete, I don't think there was a punch which put him down. He just collapsed to the canvas. He's not down recovered the from the first time. shot. He's not recovered from the first knockdown. I'm sure of it. Referee asking, is he OK? Casimero wants to finish it right here, right now, and finish it he has. The title changes hands in sensational fashion. Zolani Tete.